This is a really innovative trip, leveraging the latest in edge technology to support groundbreaking research. For about seven years now, I've taken Del Rugged to the deepest jungles, to the hottest deserts, to high altitude, and now we're at the final frontier, the hardest place to get to, the harshest environment here in Antarctica, and this is really the ultimate test for Del Rugged. This is a total dream trip. Never thought I would have the opportunity to come to Antarctica and to be able to ask these research questions that are begging to be asked. I met Abby Barrows several years ago. She asked me to take samples of water from all over the world to bring back for her to test for microplastics. I've been conducting microplastics research since 2013 with adventure scientists. We were able to sample in all of the world's oceans, but there was absolutely more need to get samples from the polar regions. Abby's doing the first microplastic air sampling in Antarctica. We're out here collecting the microplastic samples to build the model for our future algorithm. The challenge is the weather and conditions and still being able to work every single day, no matter what the weather does. Del Rugged allows us to do that. On this trip, we're testing two different new Rugged devices. We're testing the Latitude 7220 Rugged Extreme tablet and we're testing the Latitude 7330 Rugged Extreme laptop. The Dell Latitude 7330 Rugged Extreme is the industry's smallest 5G capable 13 inch fully rugged laptop. Using Dell Rugged in the field has been incredible. It can get dropped, it's been snowing on it. It's totally indestructible. With Abby's assistance, we are building a fantastic model for machine learning to improve the ecosystem. One way to think about the bioaccumulation of microplastics in the food chain is to start with the plankton. A plankton ingests one piece of microplastic. A krill eats a hundred plankton. A fur seal comes along and eats a thousand krill. An orca comes and eats 10 fur seals. So by the end of its life, that orca could have consumed millions of pieces of microplastic. Beautiful morning once again out here among these thousands of chinstrap penguins. And we're using this edge gateway device. This is allowing myself and Josh to really do this machine learning and edge computing from facial recognition with penguins to the microplastics research to different iceberg shapes. We're really trying to push the edge of technology and what's possible. Being able to utilize technology and AI right here at the edge on site with us in Antarctica means that we can get more value from our data right here as we're collecting it. During the course of this expedition, we were able to take 18 samples on board the ship, 24 water samples, and 38 air samples. I'm hoping that we will gather a snapshot of microplastic transport and concentration along the Antarctic Peninsula and the Drake Passage. If I can bring those stories back and share these with people and they can feel the emotion I really think that's a big part of the teamwork to change our planet, to get people to care. It's really important for people to become more aware of how their actions as consumers are contributing to the global budget of plastics in our oceans. All of our little actions to stop plastic consumption add up and can create a tidal wave of change. And change is absolutely imperative now if we don't want a future choked with plastic pollution. There's no reason to wait any longer because the oceans can't wait.